Hello one and all, welcome back to my Halloween special for 2024. This time I shall be reviewing The Omen, which is directed by Richard Donner, came out in 1976, two years before Superman the movie. Uh, Richard Donner would two years later do Superman. As always with my Halloween special, The Omen is going to contain some spoilers. If you have not seen The Omen, I highly recommend you guys check out The Omen. It's very, very, very good. So, you've been warned. So, The Omen is a 1970s horror classic, along amongst with uh, The Exorcist and John Carpenter's Halloween. And if I'm missing any others, let me know. But as far as I'm concerned, they're like the top 370s and Jaws. Anyway, you know. Uh, the Omen, I really enjoyed The Omen. I mean, I've watched this movie like about twice, I think. Second time I watched it last night. And I still think it's really good. I've been trying to get to do this one for my other Halloween specials. But here we are. I'm now reviewing it, which is good. So basically, uh, Robert, uh, a married man... Uh, agrees to switch his wife's uh, stillborn baby with an upper and infant, but as the child grows, a sinister series of events um, start taking place. That is just part of the plot of the omen. And what is so good about the omen are the kills. I love the kills. And I also like the characters as well, because you have uh, Robert Thorne, played by uh, uh, Gregory uh, Pete Peck, if that's how you say his name. Um, does an excellent job as the character. So then you also have Damien, um, who's sort of the baby slash child in the movie. Then you have Catherine Thorne, who... who's also great in the movie as well. Then you have um, Father Brennan. Played by uh, Patrick Troughton. If you're familiar with Doctor Who, you'll know Patrick Troughton as the second Doctor in the classic era of Doctor Who. Um, does a great job. I really um, love uh, the dialogue between him and uh, Robert Thorne as well, uh, particularly in the off first thing and then also um, the uh, outside scene. Then, of course, that scene uh, with uh, Father Brennan. Uh, where he gets killed, where you see this sort of javelin coming down across him and just his reaction alone really just adds the experience to that scene. Like, that is just a great kill. Also another great kill in The Omen is when you see the girl who's sort of hang on this building saying, Damien, and then she just jumps off and falls back through the window and crashes. That, I thought, was a... A brilliant uh, kill but easily my favorite um, kill is when you see sort of this truck with this sort of glass flying off cuts the head off straight through the other window what a kill I mean look at that it it looks pretty practical probably more practical than s some horror movies or just any movie they get nowadays I mean Richard Donner really directed this movie extremely well and also when I, I love a good the scene when um you know Catherine Thorne is sort of um on top of this sort of the staircase or something then you see so the Damien sort of becoming rogue you can really start to feel for him and then Catherine sort of drops the glass and then she has a fall which I thought for a minute, first time watching this movie, she was dead. But then, of course, she has a later death where she falls through the ambulance um, truck. Which is a pretty intense scene right there. And what is so good about The Omen, what people really like anyway, is Jerry Goldsmith's score. Like, the way he composes in the movie is just so haunting you know it works really well for each of the 
um, scenes that play out in the omen. And I also love when you sort of see a child's graveyard, you see a skeleton. That is so terrifying. And also when um, near the end of the movie, where you see Robert and Damien trying to kill each other, Robert's trying to kill his own kid, but then get shot and then they both have their funeral and then at, near the end you see another child that sort of looks back at the screen and then the movie just ends and that's the omen I mean this has some of the best kills in a horror movie I've ever seen in regards to nitpicks I think um I don't really know if I have much honestly but I can definitely say there's horror movies that I like better personally but I'd say this would probably land in the top 20 as far as classics go maybe not high in the top 20 but somewhere there if I was doing a list of horror movies for classics anyway but this is a really good one and overall guys um The Omen is such a great 70s movie um Richard Donner directs the movie really well Jerry Goldsmith composes it extremely good uh, the acting is so good and the deaths are just wild to say the least so if you haven't seen the omen again please watch it it's great i'm going to give the omen an a minus my first a minus after uh, my future of the channel video if you guys have uh, seen my videos previously i'm not going to get into it just go back watch my videos where I discuss a bit my, my grades. I only do the A ratings, but moving on. There you go, guys. That is my review on The Omen 1976. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think of The Omen. And what do you guys, what's your favourite kill in the movie? Let me know below in the comments. Have, have a great discussion down there. And guys, I have one more. Um, Halloween special to do. It's going to wrap up uh, this special. It's been probably the biggest one I've done yet so far. This Halloween special this year anyway. And I'm extremely grateful for it. So thank you for making me continue to do this. But if you're new here, please feel free to comment, like, subscribe. Notify that bell before you leave. If you're new, please feel free to do all those. If you're a returner, welcome back and hope you're enjoying my content so far. And as always, until my next video, I shall see you then and peace.